Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, I got some more fishing acts for you. Um, I don't like fishing, like, at all. Really? I have PDFD. <laughs> Post-traumatic fishing disorder. Anyway, let's get on with these fishing acts. Fishing hack, number one. So on this first act, I gotta go up to my buddies, and his name's Ryan. Ryan is a great fisherman, and he's actually been on my channel several times. I always cut off your flashlight before sticking it in your pocket. And he's caught a lot of really big fish. Sometimes the fish he catches are bigger than he is. He's a heck of a fisherman, I'm just saying. Ryan has a few hacks that he did on his boat that he really likes. We're gonna go check out his hacks, so let's get going. Where'd you get them steps? I know a guy that makes steps. You know these steps on the front of these boats are freaking awesome. Looks good though. That made me a thing to hold my life jackets in my pallet against the wall. That's like a uh, cargo net for a uh, like a truck bed. I just cut it down to size. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. I like that little crappy rod holder too you got in there. Yeah. I guess you have to use pretty short rods, but that's cool. So where'd you get the idea for the... Is that a shoe holder? What is that? I think it's like a bathroom door organizer. If somebody's got a shoe that fits right here, it's kind of a small <laughs> shoe. So it's a bathroom organizer. Like a door organizer, I'm assuming, or like a closet door organizer. Where'd you get it? Walmart. Walmart. Did not use stainless steel snaps when I done it, because I was like, <laughs> heck, I can get that wet in there. I'm trying not to break oh, it off. But they starting to the roof. Yeah, honestly, it's just, I just put these on when I cut it. We're gonna just snap right on. I actually have another one inside of here. You can't see it real well. Same thing right here. That one just looks a little bit more redneck. That's a big console, man. That was made for a bathroom. This right here is my favorite thing. So this right here is just a, are you recording me? Yeah. Okay, good, because you can, you can like edit all this out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm leaving this. This is a truck cargo net, and I just honestly use the same snaps and just put them on and so now it holds my paddle on i got my life preserver or not my life preserver my uh, throw buoy some life jackets this right here is a yoga mat for doing activity on the boat <laughs> activity like only. sleeping i keep like my rain jacket in this one a spare rain jacket i don't know if you've ever seen one of those but those are really neat it goes on the end of the butt of a rod you can kind of stick it in your hip and it don't hurt oh, fighting fish they got painter tape for i have no clue <laughs> <laughs> also uh it holds uh Extra diaper, extra <laughs> pair of tongs. I have no clue why those are on. Live well pump. You don't know much about fishing, do you? No. Lighter, some bait, extra steering fluid, engine oil. I really don't know why I keep this on here. If you're having to add engine oil, you're having problems, you know. <laughs> Flashlight. This idea was really neat. This come from Harbor Freight. So this, like I said, this is a truck cargo tie down or something, whatever it is. Because I felt like I wanted to keep all this in here, but I didn't have the storage room. And so now this keeps everything sort of organized. Like this right here is uh, my drift socks. Easily to kind of just throw it in here, pull your uh, string around it, and it holds it. Don't angle fall out going down the road. Space that you didn't know you had. I like this one the best. That one in there just has big pockets. This one has little pockets. Catfish rigs tied up ready. You always need a screwdriver. Didn't you make that track system for that cutting board? I did. That all got made on the table saw. Just turn the table saw like as hard of an angle as it could. No, you gotta be excited about it. Say it loud. No, it's got a little energy into it. Dude. Hack number two. Hack number two. Say it again. Say it loud. Loud. Hack number two. On my last video, I made duct tape pack. And if you ain't seen that video, you probably should go check it out. But on one of the duct tape packs, I made a lure cover, which is one of these things right here. You know, it covers your lure. Well, I made one out of duct tape. Look kind of like this. Kind of. But it worked really, really good, and you probably only got like a dollar into that duct tape lure cover. Well, when I was online looking up lure covers to see how much they cost now, which a Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop lure cover is like $7 now, I found that most of the bass fishermen nowadays are using clear lure covers. Like clear, which is pretty dang genius actually because with the clear lure cover, you can see through the cover and tell what kind of lure you got on your rod. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, my mind went straight to work. What kind of material could I use 
to make one of these covers. So I went to the store and I looked around. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Actually, it was my wife's idea. My wife always has great ideas. She has a YouTube channel too, and she's really, really smart. Except for she married me. Like I was saying, it hit us. The perfect thing for making these lure covers would be shower curtains. To be more specific, PEVA shower curtains. As you can see, it's clear, flexible, and strong. Okay, so now we're gonna take our PEVA shower curtain and we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna lay it out and cut it to size. By the way, I'm just using this lure cover that I bought from Bass Pro Shop a long time ago as a reference to my size. And if you're wondering what the size of this is, it's six inches by seven inches. I'm just saying. So now we got our piece of plastic cut out about the same size as our lure cover. The only thing we got left to do is to put the Velcro on it. You can buy Velcro with sticky back, and this is black Velcro, but the thing is, Velcro comes in different colors too. I've seen blue Velcro, red Velcro. This right here is some white Velcro. These Velcros were around $5 a piece, but you get six foot of it, and it supposedly will hold up five pounds. But if you're looking to save some money, this is also adhesive back Velcro, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. Well, the $1.25 Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying. All you need to do is pick out your type of Velcro, pick out the color of the Velcro, or if you want to go super cheap, just go to Dollar Tree. Now I guess I need to put on that Velcro. And just like that, we got ourselves a lure cover. Now I need to let this set this a little bit and I wanted to talk about that. On this Velcro, according to the instructions, you need to clean it, peel it, stick it, and then wait 15 minutes and you're done. So you're basically waiting 15 minutes to let this adhesive set up on this Velcro. But the one I got from the Dollar Tree, in the instructions on it, it says after you put it on there, wait 24 hours for adhesive to set. So obviously the adhesive on this cheaper stuff is not as good as the adhesive on this better kind of Velcro. I'm just saying. Now, honestly, the best way to do this would be to sew it just like they do at Bass Pro Shop. And if you know somebody awesome like my wife, you could actually sew this thing and make it a whole lot stronger. Probably make it last longer. But you know what? Sewed or unsewed, I still like it. This is actually pretty cool because now you can look in your rod locker on your boat and you can see what kind of lure you got tied on. All right, one more time. Loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let Dad do it. <laughs> Hack number three. <laughs> now there's this YouTuber called Fishing with Tate and I really like his YouTube channel. I like original content. Well, he's got some fishing hacks on his channel and they're so original. The video's actually called Fishing Hacks You've Never Seen Before. That's pretty original. Well, I asked Tate if he mind if I showed one of his hacks and he said no, but I'm just gonna let him show you one of his hacks. I'm just saying. Show you how to do a do-it-yourself trailer hook. And again, this one is using heat shrink tubings. This stuff is super cheap and all you do is just take your hook and put it into the heat shrink just like that. And then you're just gonna take your lighter, heat her up real good, about like that. Just real good. That's good enough right there. And then you're gonna take your scissors, if I can find them, and you're just gonna clip her off real close. That's what you end up with. Then you're gonna take your spinner bait and just poke it right through the eye of that hook. And that's what you got right there, just a good old trail hook on the back side of that spinner bait, catching those little short strikes uh, on those fish that you usually will probably miss. Tate's got some great ideas and I want you guys to go over and check his channel out because I'm only showing you one of his ideas. He's got some great fishing hacks on that video. So go over and check him out. Plus, I really like his accent. I wish I had an accent. I can only explain it to him. I can't understand it for him. What? Why are you looking at me like that? 
Hold on a minute. You need to learn to keep your mouth shut. Okay, I can't. I'm scared to start this show. I couldn't help you couldn't understand nothing. Well, there you have it. Some awesome fishing hacks that'll hopefully help you the next time you go fishing. And if you found these fishing hacks helpful, you should probably go check out this fishing hack or this fishing hack. Because if you like this one, I think you'll like them too. I'm serious. Go check them out. Because this fishing hack is over.